and welcome back everybody. My name is Johnny Megs. Here we're continuing our Build a Lot 3 Passport to Europe Let's Play. Um, you guys have been joining me for quite some time now. Hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, if you got any questions, feedback, or concern, let me know. Put a comment in the post below. Uh, yeah, leave a subscribe or a like. Anything, that'd be awesome. Uh, so yeah, we're moving over from Spain in our last episode over to England now. Uh, we've been there a couple of times before. Curious as to what they might have in store for us. Oh, man. Let's see. We need two services plus 60 appeal and a rental income of $60,000. Man, that's a bit of a stretch. That's a bit of a stretch. And I can already see we've got some damaged buildings, so hopefully we'll be able to make a good amount of cash just by purchasing the busted stuff, cleaning it up, and then reselling it. Or maybe hanging on to it, depending on the value of the structure. So, hmm. Alright, well, let's get cracking. Uh, I like to build that largest structure first, and we're going to need more workers. I do believe the Hacienda requires seven, and it does, and we do have enough materials. So we're going to go ahead and pick up those extra workers, which I already did. Build that hacienda. Since appeal is a big deal, for this mission we're going to go ahead and paint it, and then we'll sell it. Not only will that give us that five extra appeal that we need, but it'll also give us a little more money considering the house has a nice coat of paint on it. Uh, let's see, the exact amount, it says 630000 so that'll give us thirty thousand more dollars in the selling price, which is good. And we have just enough. We're just going to pick that guy up and probably just demolish him. Oh uh, well, darn it! I noticed we have three other cottages, but that's okay. We're going to have more than enough wiggle room once we go ahead and sell this guy. We're probably we're going to pick up maybe three more workers and a ton more materials. Three full-on material and we're gonna go ahead and build another hacienda right away once we get those materials um, yeah right there's good we also need two services which we could probably knock out right here post office please oh post office and fire both require four so actually let's go ahead and do that and we're gonna pick up that Venetian heck yeah Okay, that takes care of our two services right off the bat, which is nice. The second those guys are done, we're going to paint this hacienda. We might not need a garden center. I don't think we will. Um, hopefully we can just get a landmark, and that'll take care of it for us. Uh, so let's take care of this. Hmm. A little bit of post. Enclosed, please find a check of the amount of $7,850. Fantastic. People's Choice Lumber Wholesale. Wholesale. Little <laughs> bit. I can talk. Oh, perfect. Sell and sell. Lowball. Okay. Do we want these kinds of houses? Probably not. We need a much higher rental income than those would allow. So we're going to go ahead and demolish those because there are no more Venetians on the map. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and get this area painted up, cleaned up. We're going to chuck a landmark right here. The hedge maze, most likely. Because it gives us... Oh, look at that! Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Unlist, unlist. And we're low on materials, so we're going to jump up on that. We're going to go ahead and sell that hacienda. Let's get that repaired. And hedge maze. So we'll have 5 and 5 from the painting, so that's 10. And then a net of 30 from here. So this block by itself... 10 plus 30, that's 40 appeal, just right here. So that's pretty awesome. We will accept. Offer less. We're going to go ahead and keep him until we get this house. 
So perfect, we're netting a positive appeal, which is excellent. Uh, do I want that one? I don't think I need it. I'm considering, I'm thinking the other landmark I'm going to dump is right here. Nope. So let's just get another, oh, more materials. Actually, we could probably go ahead and paint that one, and we'll still have enough workers. Oh, the second I click it, that one gets busted. Sell, sell, low ball. And then we're going to demolish both. Actually, we could demolish all of them pretty quick here. Oh, I guess not. Okay, let's get that guy repaired. You painted. Let's see. Yeah, might as well pick you up. Uh, enclosed find a check of eight thousand five hundred dollars. Civic Development Association. Fantastic. Those checks will add up pretty quick. You'd be surprised. Uh, let's see. I want another hacienda there. Then we're going to do the landmark. Oh. The clean button to have it cleaned. Right, absolutely. That's what that garden center took care of us. Took care of for us. We're gonna get the historic square built up here. Oh. Man, that little house is giving me all kinds of headache. Let's get you painted. So we're at 45 positive appeal. Not bad at all. Once we flip this guy real quick, that'll be no problem. Uh, we are going to... What is our rent at? Oh, we're already above our rent. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> Those landmarks really come out in a pinch for that appeal. As we saw here, right here with the two haciendas and the hedge maze, that gave us that net 40 right there, so that was really cool. No problem, super efficiency again. Now it might seem like I'm getting super efficiency with every single mission, and I am, but I've played this game enough to know how to time things properly, and it'll become more difficult in the later missions, so... Don't worry, we'll have plenty of, plenty of good challenges coming up. Oh, excellent, back to Ireland. Uh, been a while since we've been to Ireland. We got the dormers there, and that was about it. Okay, we need a workshop, five painted haciendas, and four landscaped dormers. Apparently, once we have a lightning workshop, any worker you train will be faster and more efficient than any other regularly trained worker. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Uh, we need a workshop anyway, so that's that's a good tip. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to pick up... Um, well, actually... Can we build a workshop right away? Certainly. Fantastic. And how much is it for a hacienda? Just a few more materials? Let's get just the materials we need for a hacienda. And then once the workshop is created, we can get three more workers. And that'll be nice. We'll get them for half off, so that'll be great. Efficiency training, 75,000. Okay. That's certainly something we can aim for. And if we sell this hacienda, it shouldn't be a problem to afford the 75000 Again, considering these are 600,000 valued houses. And let's go ahead and just paint that right away. Now we'll sell. Ah, nice coat of teal.
Damn, let's get our efficiency training. Oh, that was fast. And why not? Let's pick up a few more workers. Let's see here. Five haciendas, four dormers. Well, we could easily do two dormers at a time now, so let's work with that. Oh, wow, they do work faster. And there's a few other dormers on the map, so I'm not too concerned about building more. But let's go ahead and get a hacienda going. And these need to be landscaped, so we'll need a garden center. Um, but the haciendas will need to be painted, so let's go ahead and do that. Good. We can offer less on that. Oh, there was this cottage here. Man, I'm just not paying attention. But we can go ahead and get that garden center set up here. Oh, how much if we offer less? Oh, we don't have enough money even if we could offer less. Darn. Might have to sell this hacienda to make ends meet. But we're not going to do that just yet because we've already got this other one on the market. Uh, let's go ahead and landscape up these dormers. I'll just buy you out, and we'll demolish you. Seem to be a bit short. Development funding goal. If you could raise a million dollars to help us. I don't see a problem with that. We'll just have to work around with these haciendas to pad up our bank account. And we'll take it. Sell, sell, lowball that guy. And we're going to go ahead and... Let's see. We still have plenty of dormers on the map, so we're actually going to demolish you. And we're going to get another hacienda there. And more materials. quite nicely. Oh, we're going to go ahead and restore you. We'll hang on to you. Now, how much is an offer less or a low ball? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. How much are we doing on rent here? Oh, easy. Okay, now we can low ball that one. So sell, sell, low ball. Perfect, we're doing good. 81,000 in rental income when everything's running, so that's that's good. That's a nice chunk of change right there. So we're going to lowball that last dormer we need. Let's get you... Oop, I didn't mean to inspect. Doggone it. Oh, yeah, we can do that. No problem. Let's get you restored. So let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five. There's our five painted. Just take care of those two. Cool. We've our painted. We have our landscape. Now we need a million dollars. An easy way to do this, if one of these dormers go on sale, we can purchase it after lowballing it, uh, tear it down, put a hacienda in its place, and sell that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We only need five haciendas, so we can go ahead and sell this one. And that will actually put us darn close to a million dollars, especially considering our rental income is pretty high. And perfect.
Easy does it. Not bad. That million dollars threw me for a bit of a loop there. I wasn't sure if I was able to cut it, but that worked out pretty nice. Oh, let's see here. We need one hedge maze plus 80 appeal and generate at least 75,000 in rental income. Well, it won't be too hard considering we were producing 100,000 before when everything was fixed. So we're going to pick up some workers. Let's go for three. And just a few more materials just to get us started. Oops, I clicked too quick. There we go. I was waiting for the workers. And we'll just sell this one right off the bat. The good thing is there's not a lot of haciendas on this map here, so it'll be easy to pick up some of this property, especially these chalet. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Let's go ahead and start getting our rental base. We'll definitely want the landscaped uh, historic landmarks down here or up here so we have the best benefit. These two chunks are nice but they don't give you the full benefit out of it. And we're going to pick you up, and we're going to demolish you. We'll put two haciendas here. That'll give it moving quite nicely. I don't quite have enough to pick that up. Do I need to paint four? Yeah, let's do it. I have a feeling I'm going to need that extra workforce anyway, so that's fine. Yoink. And thank goodness it's raining. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I picked up those extra workers. I can keep building these haciendas and still keep up with repairs and maintenance. Get on that. And we could use more materials and paint and paint. And once we start getting the appeal kicked back up, I'll start selling these again. Actually, we can go ahead and just sell you. You're already painted. Paint. And sold. Just so I can get a good grasp of how much appeal I need, I'm just going to go ahead and repair these guys. It doesn't cost much in materials or time. And we've got enough extra work for us to keep it going anyway, so that's all right. And I'll take that and I'll demolish it. Because that's where I want my landscaped historic monument to go. And that can just get demolished. So here we go. There's a hacienda. How is our rent anyway? Uh, just below that 75,000 mark. Actually, we're at 69 if everything's up and repaired. And I'll have enough workers to repair and paint. Perfect. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and put the historic square here. Let's 
And we'll put the hedge maze up there. And even though we don't own the property, a positive mark to the appeal still helps us win the mission. So that's fine by me. So this will give us an extra 15. And let's get a landmark up here, the hedge maze. And that'll give us that additional 30 again. And that'll get us darn close to what we need. I'll just go ahead and paint you both up. And we still have to concentrate on the rent. And another hacienda right here will take care of that no problem. If ever the painting will get done. Well, now that we have some extra workers and some time while the building is being constructed, we might as well go ahead and upgrade some of the stuff we've got. There we go. 91650 in that rental income worked out pretty nice. And we've almost hit, what, 80 million? We just broke the 80 million mark in career earnings. Not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have here. We need to start by building one new post office, inspect eight houses generate at least 120000 in rental income. Okay, well that doesn't sound too bad. We're not worried about appeal, which is good. And there's not a certain amount of houses we need or a certain type, so that's good. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's kick it off. Let's get some more workers going on, because we'll need that for our haciendas. There we go. Probably get the workshop here, just so we don't have any negative appeal anyway. Appeal still has a controlling factor over rent. If there's negative appeal around the houses, you get paid less in rent, and vice versa. The better appeal, the better you get on rent. So it certainly helps to keep all of your workshops and garden centers and all that sort of a thing as far away as you can. More materials, more workers. We're going to go ahead and put the workshop here. There we go. Now we can still do our side projects while still concentrating on main construction. You might also be tempted to get 14 workers so you can build two haciendas at the same time, but you got to be really careful that you can maintain the resources you need um, considering how many resources haciendas are and how much they cost, you'd only be able to do two at the same time, maybe once or twice, and then you're wasting your workforce. So you got to be real careful with what you're spending your money on, especially when it comes to workers that are just going to sit around anyway. And do I want that? I don't think I want that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to upgrade these houses up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, flip it, and inspect them. And that way they'll be absolutely free of defect, which is good. So we're just going to sell that guy because I need more materials. Exactly to point. You just got to keep these guys working to make the most out of them. So we'll go ahead and get another hacienda. We'll upgrade these one at a time. And once they're three star, we'll go ahead and get those taken care of. That'll really help us with our rent. I'm um, considering, let's see, upgraded income I have here for 26000 That's just about, what, a sixth of what we need? Something like that? Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Upgrade. And let's go ahead and inspect. Let's get you fixed up. I need you for this guy. And the longer you keep repairs sitting, if you don't uh, see them, take care of them right away. The costs will actually compound, so you should take care of that as soon as you can. Of 
Cool, that's taken care of. Uh, let's go ahead and paint it. Why not? There we go. Real nice. Let's see, so we are soon to have three three stars and we're almost at 100,000, so that's excellent. So we can even just have all these little structures here, just inspect them, and that'll be fine because we would have well reached our rent goals. So there's that. We're going to go ahead and paint it, and then we'll inspect it, and that's another one in the books. Just get a few more materials going on. Inspection! Come on, man, stay with me here. And we will pick that up. Uh, let's see here. I do think I want to get rid of him, and I do need another Hacienda just to make sure we're well above that limit. I'll take that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, let's go ahead and just do some dormers here. That way we can get a couple of these going at the same time. We're going to go ahead and inspect these guys as is. Not too interested in getting a bunch of upgrades into them. And what were we looking at? 124? Let's do a little upgrading here. And once that's done, we are going to have to demolish something because we still need a post office. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay, we reached our ret quota. We're going to go ahead and do inspections right there. That's fine. And we do have enough. Uh, we'll put these on sale, take this guy out, and we'll be sure to put in a post office right there. Actually, since we do have all of our inspections done... Oh, uh-oh. Two three-star Venetians somewhere in this neighborhood. Oh, that's perfect. We have two Venetians right here. One of which is having an altercation with the authorities. Okay, what was I just doing here? So since we're upgrading, we're still going to need this workshop. I was hoping we could demolish the workshop and put the post office there, but we'll still need it. So, back to plan... Plan uh, D? I don't know what plan we're on. <laughs> upgrade, upgrade, demolish. Get these three star, get the post office there, we're done. Oh, we're cutting the wire here. Uh, post office, that's what I want. We need more materials, too. And we need those inspected. And that should do it. Once the post office is done, the two inspections that we need to put it to eight, that'll do it for this mission, I certainly hope. Oh, unless somebody starts playing with matches again. And actually, we could pick this guy up to help pad our rental income, and that's what we're going to do. There we go. We had a good chunk of change left over, which was excellent. Oh, just a sliver or two away from 90 million. Excellent, great job. Another super efficiency level. All right, guys, I think that'll call it for another episode. I appreciate you watching. Again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to give me a note. Put it right into the comment section. And uh, I will see you guys next time in Germany. Catch you later.